and welcome back to the Game Wisp exclusive series. We knacked it up. We knacked we it up. probably did some other bad games. Sure. Saw 2. Saw What's up? Okay. Guys, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, a one and done that I've been wanting to continue playing on this show. Mostly for two reasons. One, I've never beaten it. I've never beaten it's, a run. Guys, this game is um, challenging. Two, I love this game a lot. DLC just came out recently, Advanced uh, Gungeons and Dra- in Dungeons and Dragons or Gungeons? Gun Advanced Gungeons and Drag Guns. Drag Guns, gotcha. Like guns and Guns. Um, just as a warning, I, I, I want to be clear for all you guys who are ex Enter the Gungeon experts at home. I am not an expert. I will not pretend to know this game. Yeah, that's not what this is about. I'm, I, I complete so many games a week, a month, a year that this game is a purely a fun game for me. And, uh, I, I, a lot of my hours logged are on the PC build. Again, I'm not an expert. So as I make mistakes... And as I mess up, uh, I'm human. And uh, if you want to come at me in the streets with comments, uh, simply you can go fuck yourself. So here we go. <laughs> oh, whoa! So what you want to think about, like if you want to, if you want to <laughs> imagine this Yo, game, man, I'm just saying, if you if you want to throw shade at me for for a game that I am not an expert at, when I say right now, Chris, put a fucking Photoshop image of a of a doctor or a fucking <laughs> professor somewhere, and you say, I'm not an expert at Enter the Gungeon. It's yeah, be, simple as that. It's gonna be Dr. Alex. So if you're Alex. coming at me, and you're like, why the fuck aren't you gonna exit the gungeon? I'm gonna say, go fuck yourself. Oh shit. Simple. I'm Simple. That. So, Simple. So if you want to kind of think of this like, uh, Binding of Isaac, you can. It's a roguelike in that way. Like, there's rooms, it's room-based, you're clearing rooms to, to open the doors again. There's items that people drop in the rooms, there's chests to find. You need to get keys, there's Ooh. like, there's like, like, advanced strats. <laughs> Yeah, save uh, for later. There's like oh, yeah. you can save for later in the in the new, <laughs> new DLC. It looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. So so <coughs> it's kind of like that, but the difficulty is a lot more like in line with Spelunky. Like I don't know if you've ever played Spelunky. Have you played Spelunky? Yeah. So like you know how you like don't like like with Isaac you beat it like pretty soon after you get it, and then it like the real game starts. This is like the real game is getting to the end of beating it at least at for like the first huge you know that separates the men from the boys. So. If you want to think of this show as like the road to learning how to do that, you can you can do that. But I'm not going to look up strats uh, outside of the game um, unless we really run into a wall. You know, I want to I want to see if we can do this legit on our own and and you know just without like I think it'll be fun. You know, to like yeah. actually try and succeed That's instead of just bitch. like <clears throat> looking up how to do it online. <clears throat> And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, this game uh, was started development in 2014. I remember looking at it at PAX in 2015 and uh, just being blown away. That was the year that I went uh, with Pro Jared uh, and just like checked out a bunch of indie games. And this one was like the top one, just like blew me away. Um, a lot of these people used to work, uh, the four people who started this used to work at Mythic Entertainment. What happened here? Did you just get Not logged out of PS4. It's okay. My girlfriend really loves. Netflix, you guys. <laughs> One sec. Okay. Uh, Don't get me slipping now. But yeah, so it's really serious. So, Mythic, Mythic shut down in in like 2014, and these four guys just jumped ship, and uh, they they were uh, listening to the soundtrack. This is according to Wikipedia. They were listening to the soundtrack to a game called Gun Gods by Vlambeer. And uh, the name Gungeon like f came into his mind pretty soon after, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, how about this? Enter the Gungeon. The, the game is like lore based. There's like a lot of lore to the game around the like Gun Temple, and there is there does seem to be some like sort of ritual that there's they want you to do. There's a lot of secrets in this game. Yeah, there's for things sure. that I don't really understand yet. Like I've I've also played this game a fair amount, uh, just totally blind. Like I haven't really looked anything up. This is what like that's how I like to play Isaac too. When I first started, was just like. I want to get some natural skill at the game before I start reading how everybody else is doing it, you know? And, uh, <clears throat> basically, he said, yeah, definitely Isaac was, like, a big influence, but also on the list were uh, Nuclear Throne, which is another game by Vlambeer, which, if you haven't played it, you totally should. Uh, Spelunky, which I said, Dark Souls, Metal Gear Solid, which all, you can kind of see how they all almost got bopped, fit in here. You got this little, like, there's a lot more bullets going on in this game, obviously, because it's, like, a bullet-themed game. It's a bullet hell. Yeah, so there's a little bit more bullet hellness going on in like a real way. Uh, but also has a sick dodge roll, which is like the main thing in this game that is like sick as hell. 
Uh, dungeons are procedurally generated, uh, but a lot of the rooms are individually handcrafted. Uh, and then they, like, randomly connect them together so that the rooms, like, work a lot better. So that they can do, like, complex things. Um, and they designed... Yo, another chest. Oh, is it is it locked? It it's... looks like it is. Oh, I just need to find a shop. You can probably buy a key. You have, like, 23. I think keys are usually 25. Um, I generally like playing as the Halo character just for the extra health. I actually play as the <coughs> Huntress. Like, the, the, the chick with the gun and the dog. Oh yeah, yeah. I like I like the accurate like accurate weapons, but he has the extra like helmet hit. Mm -hmm. So there's like four champions I think that you can pick. It's not like Isaac where they all look the same. It's like full like actual characters. That's exactly enough. Uh, and another cool thing you can do in this game is these green these green uh, designs on the ground. They're portals. Yeah. So you can just like pull up the map at any time by pressing like L or something, right? L2. And, yeah, and you can like look around and you can actually just teleport at any given time to any one of those green That's really cool dots just so that you don't have to do all this like backtracking and shit uh, All the guns mostly were designed by team artist Joe Hardy hard on uh, your sleeve. Yeah, and uh, You'll see that a lot of the items are like References to things there's like a nest zapper. There's like Mega Man Metroid references all these kinds of things uh, There's a boss on every floor Uh the dodge roll comes from Ikaruga, which is like a very famous uh, bullet hell shooter that's really awesome. Um, oh my god. The Dark Souls uh, dodge roll also is like a big part of why there's a roll in this game. Uh, we get the, the, <coughs> the bullet bros. Trigger twins. Trigger twins. At one point Cute. in time, at one point in time, it also had a auto reload, like, or not an auto reload, but like, you know how Gears of War has its like... Sort of like you get a special reload. And yeah, it gives you like a boost. If you if you hit the active reload at the right time, you do better damage for a little bit. That I mean, is in this game as a power up still, but it's I, gun specific. Uh, yeah, I never. Uh, I I remember at the PAX build that, or something that I think it did have that. Overwatch used to have that too. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or the. They had Man, it, getting bopped. They had it on the so Overwatch. So true. Heroes true. And expert of the gungeon. Uh, enter the gungeon experts. Um will know that if you actually def you can defeat every boss in the game without taking a hit, you get like a statue kind of thing that goes to towards the lore of the game That's and it cool. like I think the statue goes towards a true run kind Is of it thing. just the boss or is it the floor? It's the full whole floor, I think. Yeah, I got one for the second floor or randomly one time, but I never got one for the first floor. This, okay, this this weapon unfortunately like doesn't do that much doesn't damage. Doesn't do a lot of damage to these guys. You might so. as well just stay away so the bullets spread out a little more and just like take pot shots at him with the pistol. Ikaruga's out on the switch by the way. Just like sidebar, since we mentioned Ikaruga, that's a fucking good ass bullet hell, and the port on the Switch is like arcade perfect compared to the one on Xbox 360, which was like not so amazing. close to killing that dude. He's done. But real talk, this game is not Isaac. This game is fucking hard. Like you die a lot in this game. The Isaac Isaac has like a little bit of a curve at the beginning, you know. And you kind of figure it out and you get going. Yeah, and then you, and then you start to like get good, and like pretty much every time you can like make that run on Mom's heart, but like. This is, this game is fucking tough. Uh, also a mechanic in this game that I think is like, kind of like something a lot of people forget to use are those blue, uh... Yeah, the blue, uh, sh what are they called? The, um... This is called like squibs or something. Uh, blanks. 2D. Flame oh. hand. Flame hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the Phoenix ammo. up. Don't, don't loot, don't, uh, sleep on that key. Um... But yeah. Just fucking flame like hotto cans. That's cool. Yeah. So there was one expansion called the Supply Drop, which had which added a few guns, a couple enemies, room layouts, and that came out in January and was like on Xbox and Switch at launch. And then the Advanced Gungeons and Dragons update uh, just dropped like about a month ago, and that one actually has 30 items, new rooms, new enemies, and a secret floor with a new boss. 350 new synergies, new NPCs, balance changes. This is a good thing, and I'm sure you're already starting to feel like this game. I don't know if this game, this uh, weapon was in the original game. Uh, it definitely doesn't feel like yeah. it. It is fucking crazy. But you'll start to see there's like really like a lot of different new enemies. Like, I've, I, uh. I noticed that. I, I was just showing this to someone oh, the other day, and whoa, I was like, what is wow, this? Update. Yeah, it's just Guns similar. partially refilled? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, so I think that's part of the balance changes. Like, a lot of the time, there used to be a thing that refills your gun. But mm -hmm. I think now there's more, and it's not all the way every time. That makes sense. But yeah, I mean, 
Oh! Oh, mimic! Oh my god! That's cool. Yo. Fucking chest pulls out two goddamn oh, yo, revolvers. The infinity gauntlet. Gun knight gauntlet. Armor every floor. Go. What does that mean? It's a passive. Through though the aimless knight never needed to reload, even his prodigious skill was not enough to best the beast that lies at the base of the dungeon. Chris, will you look this up, please? The gauntlet. Gun knight. The gun gauntlet. knight gauntlet. Wow, so yeah, also, you should know, all these guns and things have flavor text, and if you go down through those, we show them the, uh, the other tabs of the menu. So, like, all the guns have flavor text, like, you can see all the guns we've ever picked up, like, if you, if you, like, mouse over one of them, it'll, it has, like, actually, like, a little flavor right. text for each gun. Uh, effects. Grants a piece of armor upon pickup. Grants a piece of armor upon entering a new floor. Yeah, acquiring all four gun knight items transforms player into Cormorant. Having this item increases the chance of finding other gun knight items. I see. So there's so there's like a set of armor that you can get. Yeah, that's and you have the first sick. piece, and it gens you a new one each floor. It each, well, each yeah. floor you get a new not a new armor but a new uh, like a hit, a new like bullet protection. Yeah, I see. So what the fuck is this? I don't know. And you can it, it increases the spawn rate of the gun knight armor. What is it taking from you? I don't know. It's giving you hearts. Uh, just... talk, talk to that button. Oh, okay, not this time, talking button. Yeah, apparently if you get all the pieces, you're like pretty fucking invincible. The Gun Knight set. I've never heard of it. Now we did find that secret- The secret. Did we just the... fuck ourselves? Are we just gonna be playing this for like- <laughs> Well, the, the spread, <laughs> the spread for the series, the, the, the goal is to beat one full run of Enter the Gungeon. Yeah, this is, is like the road, this is like road to victory status. Yeah, and if people want to see more after that, we will, but it's going to be a long... Now, before you move on, will you do me a favor and oh, yeah, look jump at... back down the elevator shaft? Because this is important. We have to gather items to get to this guy. Yeah, so this guy is always down here. He's working on stuff. There's also like some item shops three, and stuff. He needs three blue bullets. Yeah, so if you don't use those bullets and we get to a shop, we'll probably get that third one and we can make it back to him. Um, he makes elevators between the floors. That's okay. cool. All right, so potion he, of gun friendship. So there's so there's the thing we need. Don't put anything in that uh, thing over there. That's a gun eater. That's how you put away guns forever. Um, it's also important to note that you can flip up tables as cover. That's like a cool thing that you can do. Yeah, it's tight. I'm just trying to think like what else people need to know. You can oh, like shit. kick the tables at people, can't you? What? You can like kick the tables at people, can't you? Uh, I don't, I don't know. If you can, I don't know how to do it. The best thing about this gun so far, about this flame hand... What the fuck was that? I don't know, but he's not gonna be in Rush Hour 3. Yeah, dude. Is that it goes through. It just, like, fucking... It's, it's like piercing, piercing. yeah. 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 Rush Hour 3 already came out, you guys. Okay, let's see here. Oh, shit. Yo, ghost with the Tommy gun. Yo, this gun is real. Yeah, this big Yo. old fireball. This is sweet. These little guys are like mini versions of that, uh, like octopus boss. I think those are new enemies. Those little mini octos. Little slimes. No, the little slimes are not new enemies. But like, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys, if you've ever played Binding of Isaac, you're kind of feeling those vibes. But this this game definitely has a different feel to it if you. If you really get hands on it, you'll really be like, oh wow. Cool. They even they even scratch to me, they even scratch different itches. Like, I definitely still that, play that, both. There's of these more games. guns showing up? Is that a new thing? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen like chest drop this much. It's right. just they're rebalancing the game. Do you have to have a key to open the chest? Uh yeah. if it has oh, a lock okay. if it has a lock on it. Oh, okay. I didn't try opening it, although I'm pretty sure there is a lock on it. I didn't I, I didn't see it, either, so I was yeah. like, no, Jorah, come back. After you unlock the floor, we'll go back and look. Fuck, you you have enough money to buy the uh, the last blank that guy needs. You're by right. The way. I'm s I'm like really hype on you guys playing this right now. I'm yeah. super fucking Okay, yeah, jacked. so there is a lock. Yeah, Why don't you teleport lock. back to the shop? Oh, no, it's the next room. Well, whatever. It's all good. Um, Yeah. Let's see what this guy says. 30 for a key. It's all good. By the end of this level, we'll have it. You know, like, people, it's always so weird. Like, when you're playing Isaac or something like this, like, you start to learn, like, how to do like the little tricks that like keep you fresh and keep you like good at it and it's like little strategy things like that like oh fuck 
Three keys and 120 bucks. He needs that now. Uh, or for no, the next no, that's floor? that's just what he wants. Because he, you don't get the elevator till he he's completely done with the job. Right. So there's a couple things he's gonna ask you for before he gives you the elevator to start on the second floor. Interesting. Oh, to start on the second floor. So that's. Whoa. That's what his deal is, is he's like a- he's I like, thought it was just to, re to return to the floor while you're- No, 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 it's like, w once once he finishes working on that first thing- You'll be able to start on that go, floor. Yeah, you can like go to him, and you can just like jump to that floor on the bullet elevator. Wow. I think, Gerard- Like, that's how you beat this game. Yeah. If you have full health and you and a heart piece drops, leave it and it'll stay there. Yeah. Then you can come back and grab it later. Yeah, right. but now, but now it, there's a save for later thing, which I, oh, I didn't. I that's didn't, like in that. Yeah, I didn't know about that. That's tight. Well, he's gave me the option to use it. I've got one on deck. Really? That's fucking sick. Okay, cool. Never mind. Maybe there's. Maybe you can just. Maybe it's like you can hold one more or something like that. Yo, you have two armors now. No, I don't. Yeah, oh, I do. You're right. Yo, another chest. Okay, so chest, yeah. yeah, you're almost that's a big boy chest. You're almost. A, you can almost afford a key. Hoping for another key to show up. That'd be yeah, great. Be nice. I love this gun you have what right now. Oh. oh, okay. They're little beholders. Th this guy's a boss, but these are like his babies. So maybe that's his it. children. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Big Butox is the boss then. Butox boss. Do you remember the Big Butox, Gerard? From uh, Angry Beavers? No. <laughs> Chris, put a picture of the uh, Big Butox on screen. Just so <laughs> everyone can see it. Me and Chris remembered the big Butox uh, yesterday. <laughs> on fucking Mega Man. Yeah. On Mega Man, we remembered the big Butox. Yo, another fucking chest. All right. So I'm, in my mind, I'm like, you have enough. You should open what is that this? fancy chest. Yeah, open the big boy chest. Well, we can find out. Just go back to the shop. What is that? Is that the no no door? Go south? What is that in that shop? Yo. What the fuck? Liquid Maximum Valkyrie. pain. Liquid right, Valkyrie. So, so what does that do? Passive so items. Passive. The slows Greatly enemy increases reaction times with a few side effects. Yo, Max Pain! Commonly used by rebel forces before raids on hegemony outposts. It's a Max Pain pun. I didn't get that. That's Maximum pretty pain. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, uh, go back to the shop. What the fuck is that? It's oh. the temple, I think. Oh. oh. So we need to get a gold key. To save those people. What, is he, what oh. is that? Does the lock have anything to say? Those guys are shopkeepers. They're, they're like NPCs for the... Uh, yeah. I don't know if they're new or not, because I didn't actually so, get that far enough to like unlock a bunch of them. The hearts you save apparently go into the machine that's right by the elevator. Oh, so that's what that was. Okay, tight. Oh, I see. So the save for later. So that guy... That machine took what we saved for later and, gives and it gave to it to us. Yeah, That's and I, I believe there's something that goes on in that tomb. Will you go back to that tomb real quick? Because I want to show. I want to show. There's everybody. always something to do in the tombs. I just yeah, don't know what I want to show everybody this weird thing because I believe there's an altar in here, right? Yeah, there is. Right at the front, and you it, and it's interactable. Right, the altar is empty, empty and nothing. all you have the option to do is do nothing. And I really don't want you guys to spoil. No, don't spoil it for what us. That is that we that we need to do. Uh, there is a live chat watching us right now. Uh... But, uh, I'm just interested to know what it is. Yeah, we have so many chests and not enough keys. It's alright, we're still like baby boys. Like, eventually we'll get there to a point where we're like, doing all this dope synergy and shit, but... For yeah, now, we're still beginning. For now, we're just trying to survive. How many floors are there for a run? Like, ten? I have no idea. Oh, I shit. literally don't know. Laser boys. I usually die on the third or fourth floor. <laughs> Sometimes I die on the second floor. Like these bosses, man. Depending yeah. on which one you get, they they They're get pretty rough. rough, aren't they? Ooh. I like the burning damage you have on oh, the Oh, there's gun. the key. That's big boy key. That's for the the NPC cell. I wonder who those people are. They'll probably be in the starting area when we get back. That's generally how it works. It's like Dark Souls kind of in that way. Okay. Oh, a young knave has rescued us from our conf confinement. How unexpected and amusing. Good show, young slinger. We are certain that we shall see thee soon. Come on, come along, man, servant Cervantes. Man Cervantes. All right. That's a cute name. 
Wow, there's still a lot of rooms to go through. All right. Yeah, man, this is a big boy floor. This is a big floor, yeah. We need keys. I would love a key or two right now. You probably will get one when you beat the boss and you can go back and grab something. At least one. Sometimes you get two. Woo! Oh. oh, it went through. Holy shit. Did you use a blank just now? I did. Saved me right at the last second. Yeah. That's what they're for. Doing it right. All right, so All right, this boss. is the last Is there anything door. else here? This is it. If only we had more fucking boss key or more keys. All right, well, hopefully we can just kill this guy and then we'll find out. Get something good. Yo, oh, the I've serpent. Never, I've never seen this boss I before. I hate this fight. Never seen this boss. Oh, oh damn sick. it. The Gorgon. The Gorgon. With a fucking the Uzi. crystal gun witch. That's, can she turn you to stone? Oh, oh nice. That's why we poisoned Yo, trail. you're doing some serious damage to her, though. I'm stone. Dude, I'm stone. How do too. I? No, how do I get rid? Of, okay. Dude, oh shit, I'm stone. Damage. Dude. dude, I'm stone. We gotta go to Jack in the Box, dude. Jack in the Box. Five dollar oh. munchie menu. You know, Jack in the Box has secretly good tacos. They're not good, but like, they're, they're delicious. Yeah. yeah. What is happening with this bird? Did Who you is a, that? A is that bird your it's hers. Are you sure? Yeah, it just showed up and it's. It's not yes. yours. I'm trying to gun Do you remember you. anything involving a fucking bird that I got? It could be this gun, because I don't even remember you picking oh, this gun the up. The phoenix. Oh, it's a fucking familiar. That's tight. Yeah, it's got your back. It's a different gun. This I don't know what gun this is. I I did not see you pick this gun up. Yeah, I didn't either. Oh, maybe it came it from upgraded. the boss. upgraded. Remember the gun I had originally that was like just flames? Yeah. Oh, you got another piece of the gun. Yeah. That is a thing, the synergies, that's a thing that there's a lot more of since the update. That's tight. So now you have this version of the gun. I bet you that cloud still hurts. That black cloud. That looks like dark. Oh, that's coming out of the gun right away. looks like Blackheart from um, <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom. I don't want to, like, fucking stink you. You got this fucking thing, like, on lock right now. Yeah, you're killing it right now. Ooh, shockwave. The gore gun. What a good, what a, what a, like, this is like, see what I mean by bullet hell? It's like very bullet hell, oop! Oh. Very bullet hell-esque. This is so fucking cool. Oh my god. Good dodges, dude. You are, like, at full health, too. Yeah, she ain't got shit on you, dog. I'm trying to trap your ass. Get the fuck out, bitch. She's trying to play jazz ball with your ass? Step off. Nice. What a bummer. I, only, I took... The damage I took was, uh, from the, uh... The poison. Poison. You barely took any. Wow. Later, bitch. Blew off the Gorgon's head. Dungeon Eagle. Call. Is that just, like, a fucking big-ass gun? No fucking keys, man. Um, well, but you have 26 gold. If you want a key. Can't buy any keys. Oh, there's no more it's keys. It's 30 and there's no more. That sucks. Well, you can always get back to the floor, right? No. No. There's oh, no need. Shit. I mean, like, that's fine. Like, yeah, we can't buy any more. What a might, bummer. You might want to just, like, break some shit. Go bust some bases and stuff. Yeah, do not talk to that thing, whatever you do. That thing eats guns that you're not you don't want anymore yeah but you should give you something for doing so it's true but like you don't want to accidentally throw away the gun that you're holding because it you know just in case yeah dude I think you're kind of boinked on this oh looks like we gotta move forward next time on beer bros we go to the second third floor yeah peach what about this guy does he always just hold on to our health until yeah. the next time yeah all right see you guys then Baby, Bros. big underwater Gucci, big wet Gucci. I'm Gerard. I'm, I'm Gerard, and I'm Alex. And I'm, I'm Alex. We're all in the car. You did it. Great, it's cucumber. What's good? What's good? Yes. Did you really do this? I did. Always taking your time. Next time on Beer Bros.